Hello, everyone. I'm Theo Eschard from Henry Stewart Events, and I'm delighted to welcome you to today's webinar, Optimize Your Creative Workflow, kindly sponsored by CI Hub. During the session, please send through your questions at any point using the questions box, which you can open by clicking on the question mark at the top of your GoToWebinar window. Also, a reminder that a recording of this session will be sent to you tomorrow, so you can view it again at your own pace. Now, it's my great pleasure to pass you over to Phil Arnold, Partner Manager at CI Hub. Thank you, and over to you. Thank you, Theo. Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining us today for this webinar on optimizing your creative workflow with our partner, Acquia, and our joint customer, Robert Half. My name is Phil Arnold, and as Theo said, I am Partner Manager at CI Hub. And whilst I've only joined the CI Hub team about five weeks ago, I've been working in the MarTech industry for over 25 years, implementing and consulting on various DAM, PIM, and content management projects across a variety of industries and multiple platforms. Whether you're a designer, marketer, or a creative leader, we all know that in today's fast-paced digital landscape, creativity is only half the battle. The other half, it's ensuring that our workflows are seamless, efficient, and adaptive. During the next 60 minutes, we're going to explore some strategies and tools that will help you unlock new levels of productivity and collaboration. We'll share insights on streamlining processes, reducing bottlenecks, and maximizing your creative output, all while maintaining your sanity and that all important spark of originality that sets your work apart. If you have any questions during the webinar, please type them into the questions panel and we will come to these towards the end of our time together. And with that, I'll hand over to Jake Athey at our partner, Acquia. Thanks, Jake. Yeah, thank you, Phil. And hello, everyone. I'm Jake Athey, VP of Go to Market for Acquia's DAM and PIM business. Thank you to Henry Stewart for hosting and CI Hub for putting on this webinar here today and for inviting me to join you all. Thank you all for joining us. So, uh, a little bit about Acquia. Acquia is a proud partner of CI Hub, and we've been working together and in integrating Acquia DAM, previously Widen, for the last five years or so. And for those unfamiliar with Acquia, Acquia provides the universal platform for the world's greatest digital experiences. Next. And the Acquia Open Digital Experience Platform serves customers with standalone and integrated capabilities across a range of categories with solutions for web hosting and digital experience optimization, personalization, conversion, and search engine optimization, marketing automation, and customer data management capabilities, as well as DAM, digital asset and product information management solutions, which is what we're focused on here today. Next. Like many DAMs, Acquia serves the creative and content lifecycle with, with many of the core DAM functions that you see here to include ingesting content to that central source of truth, controlling access and tagging metadata and curating collections of assets, transforming assets to other formats, and sharing or publishing assets online and of course integrating assets across the other tools that are part of your your tech stack and then analyzing performance and archiving your content and so that's a real high level intro as to what dam does next as we look at how dam particularly aqueous dam capabilities are part of a greater technology ecosystem know that aquia dam extends upstream into creative workflows to help streamline creative workflows with partners like CI Hub and downstream to extend and integrate assets across your MarTech stack. Next slide. So as we look at this on the upstream, you can think about the uh, the, the content lifecycle across this uh, continuous uh, spectrum of create, manage, distribute, and analyze. And it's more cyclical than that's represented here. But think about the capabilities available to 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 you today. Uh, to include digitized brand toolkits, which really help to enable brand consistency with the creation and reuse of atomic content for new assets, new experiences, all 
pulling from that central source of truth and most current highest quality brand assets. And then we have creative automation, workflow and work management tools and integrations to streamline asset and experience creation. We'll talk more about that here. And then you can think about the core DAM functions as I just described, along with centralized brand asset management supporting that delivery of content across all channels, brand portals and templates, and other capabilities help to activate content for all audiences more downstream from that point of distribution. And with DAM's extension into other tools, part of your tech stack, assets can be linked to the point of your customer experience within marketing automation and social media management, CRM and sales enablement platforms and more. Now at the end of this content and campaign lifecycle, some powerful asset analytics and, and performance management dashboards and reporting can help inform how content is used alongside your marketing campaign dashboards or sales performance dashboards and so forth. And so while you may not use all of the components in this way all at the same time, know that DAM is meant to support your content and creative life cycle and to support your brand execution and brand activities with your marketing campaigns and more. And that's really the beauty of having a composable dam as part of your MarTech ecosystem. It's flexible for that. And next slide, I wanna isolate the focus on creative workflow here, integrating dam with CI Hub, which is something that we've done for the last five years with Acquia Dam previously widened. And the CI Hub integrations and connectors are among our most common integration that we see in dam to connect with Adobe Creative Cloud and its capabilities and, and various applications there, as well as Microsoft Office applications, Figma, Sketch, and so much more. And that's why we're honored to partner with CI Hub and, and bring you a joint customer case story here that we look forward to sharing more details on in just a bit. And uh, that's a little bit about Acquia, Acquia Dam, and, and uh, thank you for joining us here today. Back to you, uh, Gerd and Phil. Thank you very much. Um, so my name is Gerd, um, uh, and thanks to all for joining that session today. Uh, so just a, a bit about CI Hub. CI was founded in uh, 2020. We're based in Germany with offices in Berlin, Frankfurt and Gießen. Um, our team has uh, many years of experience in marketing software, in agency management, consulting and dam implementation. And our team from double uh, developers um, are really highly skilled and they provide really optimized code for performance and scalability. And our mission at CI Hub is to seamlessly integrate platform content into the most used applications, empowering business at scale and ensuring the smooth flow of data. Currently, we help around about 2,500 customers worldwide increase engagement with users in their preferred applications and that's leading to a more productive, engaging and relevant experience with more than around about 65 out of the box um, connected platforms. So our product has uh, grown a bit. You might know the CI Hub Connector Professional, which is um, the standard connector, meanwhile, uh, for creative professionals. Um, we've added the CI Hub Connector Corporate um, there is a tagline which says it's the first in-app brand portal for streamlined brand management. That means every collateral or every material, every asset that is relevant for your brand and should come up in a brand portal, uh, like color schemes, logos, um, sets of images, even if it's just related to a campaign, can be displayed within the application itself. It's like a small brand portal, which can be used, let's say, in Adobe applications, for example. And the cool thing is all the content that is used in that brand portal um, is just stored in, um, in a DAM system. And the third product we have just launched is the CI Hub Drive. Uh, we call it DAM on desktop. This is really the best way to connect your organization to data and assets. That means uh, the DAM content will be mounted as a virtual volume on your desktop. So it's operating within the operating system of Mac OS or in the Windows Explorer. It's just like a virtual volume and you can browse folders and browse the whole content on your local machine 
without having to download them. It's just the whole structure and the previews of the content. But of course, you can make them locally available within CI Hub Drive. As I said, we're currently running with our products in the whole um, Adobe Creative Suite, um, InDesign, Illustrator, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, um, After Effects, InCopy, but also in the Microsoft environment, Microsoft Office, SharePoint. Um, we're natively running in Figma and Sketch. And of course, all the cloud applications um, uh, from Office 365, but also it's in Google Docs, uh, uh, Google Slides, Google Sheets. And it's running in Figma, even in FigJam. What we've also integrated is WordPress, for example, Adobe Experience Manager, Salesforce, Marketing Cloud, um, and we're currently releasing the integration in Canva. We're, as I said, connected to more than, it's around about nearly 70 um, DAM, PIM, and MUM systems. that are currently out of the box connected, which you can um, automatically connect to any application. Um, we're highly valued by our customers. You can see all the uh, reviews, um, mostly, or I would say 90% is a four stars rating. So it's easy to use um, and it's well appreciated by our team. What we're doing, therefore, is we do knowledge transfer. Um, we have a team that is really doing end customer onboarding for our products. So with some special knowledge about how to manage DAM content um, in your applications and how to use DAM content, um, let's say, in Adobe applications. What's the best way um, to use that stuff? And of course, innovation. So we're really proud that the uh, Acquia named us uh, 2023 Acquia Partner of the Year. And now I would like to hand over to Chelsea. And I'm really proud to have her in the session. Um, so the stage is yours, Chelsea. Thanks. Um, yeah, so I am the Digital Asset Manager at Robert Half and its subsidiary, Pertivity. And I have 15 years experience implementing and managing DAM sites for multiple companies across different industries. I enjoy helping users make their work easier and more efficient. Um, and actually one of my proudest professional moments was converting one of my loudest DAM detractors into singing its praises. Um, Robert Half is the world's first and largest specialized talent solutions firm that connects opportunities at great companies with highly skilled job seekers. We offer contract and temporary and permanent placement solutions, as well as world-class consulting through Pertivity. Uh, next slide. Yep. So are we going to talk a bit about the use case right now? Yeah. OK, OK. So, so let me start and give a short intro. So what I've uh, understood, Chelsea, is that the creative team has to work with large quantities of Marcom assets every day. The challenge was to manage both existing material and new creations and to leverage synergies that arise from that. And the team consisting of art directors, designers, and production artists should be introduced to an efficient creative production environment. And the cross-organizational campaign structure should have an effective, innovative linking system to ensure that existing projects can be easily reused and adapted. And the Marcom content should be treated as a valuable asset whereby a digital asset is defined as a resource with economic value that Robert Half possesses or controls as a company with the expectation that it really will provide a future benefit. So this is my short introduction of what I understood from the, from the challenge. Maybe if you want to add something with your own words, Chelsea. Yeah, absolutely. Um, our creative teams are tasked with producing a large quantity of assets in often a short amount of time. Um, this ranges from large campaigns consisting of multiple designers working together with hundreds of related assets to a simple update performed by one person on an existing one. Um, and previously, it was often difficult to locate all the needed assets when picking up a project that had been edited um, or created by someone else. 
So this can happen from um, the art directors and designers, you know, creating the concepting of a campaign and then handing it off to our production artists to do all the iterations or someone coming and saying, hey, we need to create a new flyer and we want to use, you know, the, the same formatting as this one from a past campaign. So time was wasted searching for, downloading, and organizing them in order to fix all of the broken links within Adobe. And then duplicates would also get unknowingly stored without an easy view into each other's work. And so we really needed a more efficient process. And, and what I understood is, is also that you were dealing with lots of InDesign packages where all the, the fonts, all the assets have been included. And, that were large packages you have to deal with and that creates also duplicates right yes without having a way of being able to find easily all of the um associated assets within a project within a layout file in adobe the designers would package it it was the easiest way to hand things off but that does mean that you have thousands of copies of your logo for instance floating around because it's used on every single asset and this was just a waste of space and it also meant that when you're picking up um, a past design you may or may not have the newest version of a particularly included asset got it got it got it so there was a solution that um, has been uh, created. So they, uh, you created the, in the, the Acquia DUM and uh, as a one-stop shop for brand compliant visuals, images, and videos combined with metadata, facets, and filters. And then on top, you integrated the CI Hub connector for, for the creative cloud apps uh, to cover an innovative asset linking process and for easy access to uh, the content of the Widen DAM. And you enable the creative team to streamline various content processes and, and therefore boost the productivity, right? Yes. Um, yeah, so our DAM provides brand and Marcom assets globally within um, both companies, Robert Half and our subsidiary, Protivity, providing easy and controlled access to assets with easy search and filter functionality. These are the basics you would expect from a DAM. But on top of that, using Acquia Dam specifically has provided us with three great improvements. Um, version control, linking and embedding assets into our intranet, and portals. With the first two, we are creating a single source of truth for all our brand and Marcom assets. We can host assets in our dam and push them out to other platforms as needed, knowing that any updates made to an asset will be reflected everywhere. And with the last portals, we can create microsites within the dam where we can curate groups of assets for different audiences mixed with copy, color swatches, and any other needed information. And these custom portals improve our dam's user's experience, but can also be shared externally as standalone pages. They really have been a game changer for us. Uh, next slide. Mm -hmm. And then with the addition of CI Hub, um, we at Robert Half were able to finally address the challenges our creative teams were having. When a designer opens a layout in Adobe, CI Hub can scan through all the linked assets and look for them within our dam. Matches are identified, linked, and local files downloaded. So there's no more hunting for hundreds of assets. This not only saves our designers time and a lot of frustration, but it also provides a very quick visual of which assets they don't need to upload when they are finished with their project, which saves them even more time and prevents all of those duplicates being stored. So, so that means the whole projects are anyhow stored in the dam, all the relations uh, to linked assets that is managed. Um, so you don't have to take care of that any longer. So, I mean, that is Correct. Um, a really cool improvement yeah, for, for yeah. all at the end. Yeah. So no more packaged files, which is great. <laughs> Removing gigabytes. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so the solution um, at the end is um, 
to, to create and, and, and manage brand compliant visuals, uh, images and video assets. Um, Robert Half integrated the, the Acquia DUM and the CI Hub connector for Adobe cre Creative Cloud applications. And along with the DAM um, system implementations, these enhancements have significantly improved the team's image search um, and the usage process. I mean, that goes by that smart linking process that really streamlines all the workflows, um, the version management. Um, so it's just checking in assets, have a, a version automatically created. And the cool thing is at the end, uh, it's a cross-app production. It has the same interface, the same access to um, the DAM uh, if you're coming from InDesign or from Illustrator or from Photoshop. Um, and also searching the DAM within the app um, should also be a, a huge thing. So you don't have to leave your application when you're searching for an asset um, and uh, use it in your in your current project, right? Yeah. Okay. So these are the benefits you mentioned. <laughs> yeah, uh, through both Acquia Dam and CI Hub, the creative teams at Robert Half have been, been able to improve their workflows and prevent all of that wasted time. And as one designer said to me, it's monumentally more efficient. Um, and then as our teams um, continue to grow, we have opportunity to further develop our processes and our collaboration with the other features, um, such as more of the in-app searching and version control and um, all of the other aspects of CI Hub we have not even touched on today. Great, cool, cool. So the CI Hub integration, I mean, I it's just show a, a, a similar setup, um, what we're normally uh, doing for, for our customers. So the main thing is the CI Hub smart linking process uh, that makes cross team editing of campaigns much more efficient instead of this uh, disrupting high volume packages to team members, linking uh, content to the Acquia Dam increases collaboration and helps streamline processes. Um, tasks that used to take hours are now completed in minutes and, and with the Acquia Dam and the CI Hub connector and that's just a small overview of how the process looks like. So um, any kind of users, if it's Adobe Cloud, Creative Cloud users, Figma users or Office users, if they connect to the DAM um, via CI Hub connector, they have access to all the features of a DAM, like a search, um, to the facets, all the filters. Um, they have previews of all the images or documents. Um, and the good thing is, everything stays connected to the document. Every damn content stays connected to an InDesign document, which is locally edited. So there is no need to manually search and download files. Uh, and it's even with multiple connections. Let's say you want to add a stock provider to use uh, images uh, from any kind of stock provider, iStock or um, Adobe Stock, whatever it is. Um, that's also um, seamlessly integrated then in the workflow and all the productions, even if it's a production um, from, let's say, last year, if you open that file, um, CI Hub will synchronize the assets from the dam uh, and keep your product up to date and even take care of the latest versions. I think that's, that's a really a huge benefit. And just to give you a, um, a short wrap of how it looks like, uh, this is how it runs, let's say, in an InDesign document. Um, so you have multiple connections at the same time. So you can connect to OneDrive, uh, a SharePoint, a Widen system. Um, you have the full text search available within your application. Um, it also could work with filters or facets uh, to drill down the search result. You have that one source multi-channel principle. So even if you open an asset from the Widen Dam in Photoshop, you work on it and you have to provide it, let's say, in a SharePoint system or in a, a content management system, uh, you just switch the connection. That's a mouse click. And then you can upload the rearranged assets or the composing um, to another system. The smart linking, we call it the external content panel, um, ensures always that 
everything stays connected to your document. Even if there is maybe a low risk file included, it throws a warning. If there's a newer version in the DAM, it throws a warning and you can update all this with just one, one click. The version management is also if you have the rights to do so, you can always go back to former versions, but you have still a visual overview of all the versions that have been created um, by, from an asset. If you want to bulk move assets from your document to the widen dam, you can also do that with just one click via CI Hub connector. Interesting is also drag and drop for metadata. You have access to all the metadata, um, even if it's customized metadata you can use that content and just via drag and drop uh, and, and move it in your in your document it's also working for figma some use cases we had for figma in the past is they have a dam that's their main dam and they grab all the assets from the dam create composings or banners or whatever um, and then push it to different systems that's all done from within the application. So you don't have to deal with local files, store here um, and upload there. That's not doable. That's really a um, simplified workflow. And for all the Microsoft users, they don't have to deal with high res images if they want to do a presentation or a Word document in PowerPoint, for example, or in Word. Um, they just select a low res version of the asset. Um, that keeps the presentation um, flowing. There's no high-res image, there's no overload then in the presentation. And that's really um, a great benefit to, to that. Yeah. So do you want to add something, Jake, or are you good? Yeah, nothing to add other than that, uh, you know, we've got many customers that uh, share similar use cases as Chelsea shared here today that uh, you know, really rely upon the CI Hub connectors to connect their dam with Adobe Creative Cloud and various applications there so that you can always be working with the latest and greatest assets and remove some, you know, added friction and manual process in, in your creative oh, workflow. Got it, got it. Yeah, I mean, the webinar topic anyhow was what means uh, or optimizing the creative workflow. So what does that mean at the end? What you've seen so far, I mean, optimizing the creative workflow means streamlining the entire, entire creative process from ideation to the final delivery and to enhance efficiency and productivity. It involves reducing bottlenecks, automating repetitive tasks, and it's all about implementing tools that enable better collaboration and communication among the team members. And ultimately, it allows creative teams to focus more on innovation and delivering impactful work rather than being bogged down by manual processes or, or administrative tasks. And uh, at the end, this optimization helps in faster turnaround times, higher quality outputs, and a more agile response to feedback and, and, and changes. And when it comes to the digital workflow, optimizing the digital is have a digital infrastructure that has grown over time and consists of different systems. However, the flow of the data is its availability to individual users is often inefficient and, and inconsistent. And uh, to be honest, data silos will continue to exist. And that's why it's essential to bring the relevant data together so that it can be used effectively without incurring high costs or being tied to, to a vendor. Um, and data is relevant to the user group. Um, if you transfer data from different systems to a website, you only transfer the relevant data to achieve a high performance. And companies should do the same for their employees in the departments, then a better performance could be expected here too. And it's also about training. So training employees in all these, these new tools and these, these innovative workflows or that new way of working, um, training employees in, in new digital tools and workflows is not a cost at the end. It's an investment uh, in, into a culture of continuous improvement and a way of encouraging um, 
adaption to new technologies and new ways of working? I think adding consistency as well is a great way to optimize workflows. So the fact that CI Hub works in so many different applications, but you're always going to know what to expect as far as the interface goes is also a great tool because you can train your users, but if they have to know a different workflow for every single different time they open a different application, it's still going to be inefficient. Yeah, right, right. That's That was our goal, to have one interface that is easy to learn and you can use it in whatever application um, you prefer to use. Yeah, that's, um, and at least the features are, are the same yeah whenever you switch from photoshop let's say to illustrator you have the same capabilities when it comes to damn content um and i mean that's that makes it a perfect tool um to enhance the workflow in the teams of course yeah right so um anything you want to add someone wants to add phil or jake before we go into some other stuff, not so far. So what just I would add, like, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, just to add that I think it's it's a it's a capability that you make so easy to try and and try it out if you're an existing dam uh, customer. Try it out. exactly, yeah. See what it can so do. Offer, yeah, so we offer a free trial. Um, so it's on our website. It's available on the website. Um, just download it, use it for a 30 day free trial, connect whatever dam you want to connect. Um, it's running out of the box. It's installed within a minute. Um, so there is no configuration necessary or something like that. You just need to download the trial, register once and with your dam credentials, you can use it directly. Um, within any application. So it's available for all applications. Um, the newest tool, which I would like to give you a glimpse, that is uh, the CI Hub Drive. Um, I've created a short video that gives um, a rough um, introduction to the CI Hub Drive, what it does. Uh, and I would like to run it now. With CI Hub Drive, you can access the assets in your DAM, PIM, Drive, and more directly from your desktop. Let's take a look at its key features. Getting connected. Using CI Hub Drive, you can connect to multiple systems from your desktop. Simply search for your system within the CI Hub interface and connect to it in seconds. Your DAMs will then be virtually mounted to the Mac OS Finder or Windows Explorer. Just like that, you can access all the folders and files in your connected system. To help you quickly find what you need, CI Hub Drive generates previews of each file on demand. Files and folders. When it comes to managing your files, CI Hub Drive lets you see if an asset has been approved or rejected for use in the original data source. Here we see a red dot beside one asset, which is rejected, letting us know not to use it. In the same way, a green dot lets us know that this asset is approved for use. You can also see which files are read only from the lock symbol, so you can't overwrite that file. Online and offline. Need to edit some files locally? You can do this in a single click. This also works for multiple files at once. You can also make entire folders locally available by selecting the one you want, right-clicking and selecting Download Now. Using multiple threading, you can download up to four files simultaneously. Removing a local download is just as easy. Right-click on your locally available folder and choose Remove Download. Managing Assets. You can upload files from your desktop directly to a folder within your DAM. 
Select the assets you want, drag them into your folder, and they will be uploaded to the dam. You can also duplicate files in your dam in seconds. Holding the option key, you can click and drag on an asset to quickly make a duplicate. Moving assets. Sometimes you'll need to move files from one dam or drive system to another. Here, we are moving files from box to binder. To do this, just open both systems in different windows, select your assets, and then drag and drop from one to the other. There's no need to download the files locally, saving you time and performance. Searching for assets. Finding the right assets in your dam can be a challenge. With the CI Hub Drive Search function, you can create a folder with your search term as the name. This will trigger the search within your connected system. The folder will fill with all the assets, including the title of the folder, so you can find exactly what you need. This is extra useful for frequently used searches, like when you need to find a specific Excel folder that's hiding deep within your dam. CI Hub Drive also automatically indexes every asset connected to it. That means every tag connected to an asset is searchable. The search function even works on the Spotlight Quick Search and OS search functions. Get CI Hub Drive today. So that's what I've got. Um, if you want to download a trial, any kind of trial, if it's the Connector Professional or the CI Hub Drive, you can just go to our website, click on the Start Your Free Trial Register, and you can try um, our products with, with any dam um, that's listed, uh, one of those 65 dams um, that are listed in our, our tools. And I would like to hand over to Jake again. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Gerd. And of course, you can uh, try um, try the CI Hub trial with, with Acquia Dam for any of our Acquia Dam customers on the call. For those that are not yet Acquia Dam customers, we'd love to chat more. You can request a demo or uh, or request a free trial of Acquia Dam at acquia.com slash dam or get in touch with us at dam at acquia.com. For any of our existing customers that are, that are on the webinar here today, know that we recently launch the CI Hub connector with our entries module so that from within Adobe Creative Cloud, Microsoft Office, Figma and Sketch, you can drag and drop product attribute information from entries into your design files and documents. And that brings great benefits with regards to quick access and the ability to easily search and add product information without leaving the application that you're working with within um, expanding usage, including uh, the ability to use content across your organization and still maintaining that single source of truth. And of course, getting the benefit of optimizing your creative workflow. So for any of our current DAM customers know that the entries module now also has an integration connecting with CI Hub. So thank you uh, everyone for joining. Thank you, Chelsea. Special thank you to Chelsea for sharing your, your use case story. And uh, back to you, Gerd and Phil. Yeah, I mean, there is um, some time. Uh, sorry, I forgot totally to mention that we have the connection to the entries, Jake, <laughs> which is a real benefit to access all the product information data uh, within the application. But um, anyhow, I mean, we're also at Dam New York. Um, so I think Jake is there, Phil is there, and I will also be there. So if you then have any questions also, we can answer them, meet us, talk to us. We are at Dam New York. And anyhow, is are there any questions we can answer? Yeah, we have a few questions for everyone. Yeah. The first one is um, directed to you, Chelsea, uh, asking, did you vet any other DAM solutions? And if so, which ones, if you're able to share that on this call? And why did you decide that Acquia DAM was the best solution for Robert Hart? So I actually joined Robert Half um, 
right after they had kind of decided to go with Aquia Dam um, and they were transitioning from another system. So I'm not positive of all of the reasons, but I know that um, the flexibility of being able to set the permissions um, because we are kind of managing two different companies as well as all of the user groups within each one that you would expect. Um, and the portals feature as well. Um, they also, at the time, it was a different Adobe connector, but be able to directly access um, our files from Adobe now through CI Hub was also a big um, selling point for us. And we just were trying to really make sure that everything was going to be as efficient as possible. Um, so yeah, if, if anyone wants to kind of know more about what we're using, you're welcome to email me. Um, but as far as like the specifics of what other ones they vetted, I'm not really sure. Okay. Thank you, Chelsea. Um, uh, the next question um, it is, is probably more for you, Gerd, this one. Is there any way to have assets taken from a DAM into Adobe desktop products, such as InDesign, be hosted on a local server, not on the local desktop? So uh, that means the assets are hosted in a dam or or on a on a on a shared volume. And so they're hosted on the dam. Yeah. When you open them to edit them, yeah. The local version is yeah. on a local server rather yeah. than local desktop. So that's that's what um, some or a lot of our clients do if they're um, running um campaigns with thousands of images and the production um is is getting very close so what they do they have just a shared volume um which everyone has access and that shared volume stores um, the temp files um, so everything what's currently needed for a production as we all know um in design is then performant when the files are somewhere locally and directly connected to the InDesign document, for example. So they have to be locally available uh, for a short amount of time, at least for the production. So there are companies, they uh, have a shared volume. Every user um, can set it up in the uh, CI Hub connector and say, please use for my temp folders that shared volume. And they can produce um, catalogs or uh, brochures with thousands of images um, then within minutes uh, because everything is partially for everyone locally available it's always updated it ensures that the latest version is there available um, if one of the users updates the assets to the latest version they are available for everyone within the document and that's a big benefit yeah, when it comes to mass production let's say like that yeah yeah, that can be a, a huge time saving. That's it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, another question, whilst we're with you, Gerd, is does the CI Hub connector support in copy or just in design? It supports in copy, yeah, also. So we are currently uh, working on a streamlined process for in copy. We had some requests from customers. Uh, that do translations um, mainly with InCopy, or they use it as a, a tool for the editorial process, let's say. So they want to deal with um, not only with images as an asset, but they want to deal with text blocks as an asset, um, which is then really connected to an InCopy file. Um, so if you open an InCopy file, you can um, later on store your text fragments within a dam and they're still connected to your document and even if the editor works on the original document um, changes maybe some styles paragraph styles or character styles um, that's automatically then available for the in copy users um, so they're really just dealing with the text itself they don't have to take care about formatting or whatever um, and the if it goes to translation, they can also manage the tr translated text fragments then within a dam. And that's also a huge benefit. Yeah. 
Great. Because as we all know, uh, Adobe InCopy uh, costs quite a bit less uh, than uh, Adobe InDesign. And it's really a great tool for all the editors out there or for the translators. Yeah. Also less distractions if they're uh, uh, of course, of not course. design users. And it's and it's and it's organized um, anyhow. All the, the the text elements, text blocks, text frames are managed like an asset, um, and that's what CI Hub in general does: managing um, um, assets related to to a document. And that's the same with those text fragments. Yeah. Okay. It's like component management, I would say. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Now the next question is is really for all three of you, but I think if we start with you, Chelsea, and then go to you, Jake, and then to Gerd, it's kind of got three layers to it. Then, um, so the question is about what desktop applications do you use CI Hub Connector to Acquia with in your implementation, Chelsea? We um primarily use InDesign, Illustrator, and Photoshop at the moment. Okay, and then for you, Jake, what's the most common desktop applications that um, your customers use the CI Hub Connector with? Yeah, yeah, it's similar to what Chelsea shared. It's it's consistently InDesign, Photoshop, and Illustrator, InDesign uh, leads the way. And we've recently seen an uptick in uh, a premiere uh, use as well. For, for the video editors. Great, thank you. And good. the wider question for you, what are the most common desktop apps used across all vendors and customers with CI Hub? I mean, it is the Adobe Creative Cloud Solutions that is um, mainly used in Design Illustrator Photoshop, but we also see that more and more After Effects and Premiere Pro users are using our tools because they have also to deal with lots of footage in their video projects or with lots of icons if they do animations or lots of materials, footage they are using in, in um, Adobe um, uh, tools, um, which is After Effects mainly. But what we see coming more and more is the Figma uh, community uh, because um, our Figma connector is really unique in the Figma area because every asset that has been used in a Figma project is also connected to the dam. It's linked to the dam. It has the same features like, you know, from linking assets in InDesign, you have the same capabilities in Figma. And that's a real big thing. And what we also see is PowerPoint users. Um, this is also increasing, and I mean, it's it's in any company. Um, there are more Microsoft users than Adobe users, um, if you talk about a, a company. Uh, so what they prefer in uh, PowerPoint is also the linked assets. Um, whatever they, they open a, a presentation, uh, with one click they can check if assets have been changed, and they will be automatically updated in PowerPoint presentations. Um, so that's really handy and it enables also uh, a broader range of views for all the DEM vendors because some of our customers are now storing single slides in their DEM, which then can, uh, if someone wants to create a presentation just via drag and drop, um, add single slides to their presentation and get stuff done in a real short amount of time. That's really increasing at the moment, yeah. Great, thank you. Um, next question's for you again, Chelsea. Um, asking how long did your implementation of Acquia Dam and the CI Hub Connector take? Um, so the implementation took about a year, I believe. And the CI Hub um, was fairly quickly because the designers are kind of used to the Adobe products already. So we just kind of had to show them, you know, like, hey, here's how you can check out and like take a look for your assets in this different place. Great, thank you. Um, good, I think this one's more, more for you. Um, when working with 
catalog files in InDesign with many product image placements, 90 plus. When opening the catalog, what's the most efficient way in CI Hub to relink all those product image placements from the Acquia DAM into the InDesign document? So what, what I would always do is if I'm dealing with large amount of images in a production, do the layouts um, with the low res files. Um, so it really, it takes a second to place an image from a dam if you're using, um, let's say a JPEG rendition. Um, for layout purposes, it should be good enough um, for a first proof reading, it should be good enough. Uh, that saves an immense amount of time because really if you place an asset, it's a second. Um, and if it comes to production, finally, I mean, that's one click and the low res files will be replaced with the high res files and you can run your production. Um, and after the production, you can get rid of uh, all that temporary files. Uh, you don't need them because the connection to the dam is anyhow stored within the document. So there is no, no need to deal with those files. So this is my recommendation. Layout with low res files. Um, as long as possible um, during maybe approval processes and everything, and then replace them with one click with high res and your job is done. Perfect, thank you. That sounds like a much more efficient approach. Um, another question is asking if CI Hub has a connector to Adobe Lightroom. Um, you mean Adobe CC? Um, yeah, so we can connect to the Adobe CC library. Um, I know why that question came up, uh, because I've heard that the sync process uh, will be no longer available for all those users. Um, so um, you don't have to take care about that. Uh, with the CI Hub connector, you can connect the CC libraries like you connect the dam. Um, you have access uh, to all the links in, in the CI Hub link panel to those documents that are stored in the CC libraries. So for all those users that are dealing with um, formally linked assets or synchronized assets to um, CC libraries, you're safe uh, when using CI Hub. We can do that, yeah. Okay, the, the question's just been added to saying it's Lightroom Classic. Does that make any difference? I don't know what that means, library. It's the CC libraries. Uh, uh, Lightroom Classic. Okay. Um, just shoot me an email um, and we get in touch. I can answer that question in detail. Um, but for the moment, I don't get that question, to be honest. Yeah, me neither. Um, I will reply to the message in the Q&A. We'll get that clarified offline. Um, another question about, is there any limitations in adding assets into Acquia Dam via the CI Hub connector, so adding new assets and applying metadata on upload? So what we can do is there's no limitation in uploading assets. Um, what we currently cannot do is edit metadata fields. Uh, this is something we will do in the next release so that you can edit metadata whilst uploading assets. But a limitation, there is no limitation. Using think... Acquia Dam, um, the upload profiles though, if you have an upload profile that has like pre-selected metadata, that will yeah. be maintained. Yeah. So that, that's something we can do. If there is predefined metadata, before you upload, you can select um, uh, the values and then upload an asset. That's, yeah, that's for sure. That's doable. Thank you, Chelsea. <laughs> sure. Um, see, it looks like there's new coming in. Are there any plans to synchronize data in the layout? For example, if a text field is placed into InDesign, 
the text does not auto update in the layout based on metadata for example yes i think so i'm not 100 percent sure i'm following the use case suggested yeah i mean the use case that's the the same use case you may have mentioned with um, adobe in copy having text fragments stored um, within the dam so what i would then recommend i mean we had lots of requests for updating that content um, i mean we are thinking about can update assets anyhow um, it should be doable but you need then a connection to a text frame which is something different like a, a, an image frame um, but we have that on on our I would say roadmap somewhere but no priority <laughs> and this could be the last question coming in now because we've only got a few minutes left but a question for you chelsea have you and your team been able to quantify any of the time or cost savings from asset reuse and efficiencies within your creative teams not into hard numbers um i'm sure as if any of you guys are current see i have users or damn users any sort of martech um you have to do your due diligence beforehand right of how long does it take you before you implement anything <laughs> and then you can start to compare afterwards and so we don't really have those before numbers to be able to do it but that's why i included the quote from our designer um about you know how this has made it significantly more efficient um, especially our production artists, they're the ones that receive files from um, other designers or they are the ones kind of doing those like burn and churn type of like quick updates on existing assets without that relinking process. They said it was miserable before trying to hunt down all of the assets. So um, there's peace of mind. We can at least measure that. Okay. <laughs> my experience on working on other projects has been that the the efficiency gains usually mean that you're achieving more within your creative teams rather than anything quantifiable as a cost saving you mm -hmm. you never have enough time to get all your creative output finished or done to the quality that you want so by increasing efficiency that's normally where you gain I can say that our storage uh, within our dam has um, significantly increased in the last couple of quarters, um, but definitely over the years. So that kind of goes hand in hand with that. We are definitely producing more assets. Great. Good to, good to you know, remind of the before and after, and it'd be good to look at you know, how are you doing things today and, and what would you seek to improve upon or and, and, and measure improvement Good after idea. adoption? Uh, <laughs> heard a great quote from another customer recently about their use of Aquia Dam and CI Hub together. And um, you know what this particular customer shared is that dam is so baked into how we work that it's like the air we breathe. It's so apparent we need oxygen and no one ever really internally questions the value because it's just part of how we work. Oftentimes we hear some similar as well. There's such a transformation involved with you know, the before and after that it, it becomes hard to measure and and it becomes just part of the new way of doing things. Righty. So I think we're nearly at over, over. Sorry for that. <laughs> um, so I would say thank you all for joining that session. Um, uh, thank you, Jake. Thank you, Chelsea. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you talking here uh, at Henry Stewart webinar. Um, and Phil, do you want to close the session? Sure, why not? Um, I'd just like to say thank you to all of you presenting and thank you so much for everyone who joined 
um, especially the questions that you've all asked. And if there's any other things that we can help you with, please do get in touch and hopefully see some of you at um, Henry Stewart in New York. Alrighty, thank you very much all and thank you. have a good day. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay.